Good evening and welcome to this, the first edition of the Aga Khan Music Awards and tonight's concert and prize giving ceremony. And I would like to extend also a very warm welcome to all of our viewers who are joining us from right across the globe to be with us in the auditorium. And we start with the Aga Khan Music Award in Music Creation. This award recognizes original musical works that are rooted in or inspired but not constrained by traditional sources and models. The Aga Khan Music Award in Music Creation goes to Frangiz Alizade for a highly original body of concert music inspired by Azerbaijani Mugam that synthesizes instrumental music with classic poetic texts <coughs> exemplifying the humanistic values of Sufism. I would like to invite her on stage now to perform her work, Music for Piano, that she wrote in 1989 and was first performed in Los Angeles. This short work beautifully illustrates the merging of Azerbaijani Mugam with a musical style that is cosmopolitan and contemporary. The special timbral effects on the piano, I thought I would mention, that make it sound a little bit like a sitar, is achieved by placing a necklace on top of the piano strings. Ladies and gentlemen, Frangiz Alezade. <laughs> The Award for Preservation, Revitalization and Dissemination has two winners, and I am delighted to introduce the first of them. The Gurminj Museum of Musical Instruments, located in Dushanbe, Tajikistan. In an era when the preservation of cultural heritage has, to a great extent, been consigned to complex bureaucracies, the Gurminj Museum like this museum, the Gulbenkian Museum, exemplifies the power of a single individual to enrich the transmission of cultural heritage, not only by assembling an incredible collection, but by insisting that that collection serve an educational purpose to become the bedrock of a community. The award citation to the Gurminj Museum reads, for sustained effort to preserve, promote, and revitalize the musical heritage of Central Asia's peoples and cultures, and in particular, the Pamir Ismaili musical culture of Gorno Badakhshan. Please now join me in watching a short film about the work of this remarkable museum. Особенность нашего музея, что это живой музей. Когда люди приходят в музей, они могут взять инструмент, поиграть на нем. Всегда звучит музыка. No domain of endeavor is more important to the music awards than education. For the transmission of music from teacher to pupil is at the very core of musical heritage. Omnibus Ensemble, based in Tashkent, Uzbekistan, has brought to Central Asia new music from around the world, while also taking a leading role in organizing innovative projects for young musicians. The citation to Omnibus reads, for innovative efforts to create an artistic rapprochement 
between Central Asian Makam traditions and languages of contemporary music. Now let's watch a short film about the work of Omnibus. We discovered that the real goal of our activities is not just to find our own unique voice, but to preserve the uniqueness of the Makom itself and to define the new place for it in the context of modern society. The next warrior, Farhad Halimov, shares with the Gurminch Museum of Musical Instruments the award for preservation, revitalization, and dissemination. His award citation reads, for sustained efforts to preserve and transmit onward the classical song repertoire of Samarkand performed in a traditional style. In this tradition, greatness is measured not only by the skill with which one performs a classical repertoire, but by the ability to set classical poetic texts to newly composed melodies. Now I would like to invite Farhad Halimov on stage to perform Dal Miravat Zidastam, which means my heart escapes from my hand. <laughs> And so we come to the Aga Khan Music Award for Social Inclusion, for sustained effort and commitment to using their musical talent to promote social justice and the values of pluralism and democracy. And the winner is Badia Bukhrizi. Now, those of you who know her, I am sure will agree with me when I say that Badia is a phenomenon. Uh, she exemplifies the power of music to create a sense of community centered not only around shared aesthetic sensibilities, but around shared political convictions. Under the stage name Neisatu, she has mobilized large groups of people in her native Tunisia to unite in their call for freedom and justice. قالنا الأمس حظر الجولان بالأمس عمل الإنسان كأقل من إنسان ألم يولي ذاك الزمان سقط الطغيا ولم يسقط الطغيان نذكركم حرا يولد the artist we're going to honor now, Dariush Talai, is a superb example of the domain of professional endeavor in which he's being recognized, that of distinguished and enduring contributions to music. The citation for Stad Talai's award reads, for exceptional commitment to transmitting the classical performance tradition of the Tar, as an artist, as an educator, and as a scholar. It is an honor to announce the 2019 Patrons Award to Mohammed Reza Shajarian.
The Patrons Award represents a very special form of recognition. As its name suggests, the laureate of this award is selected by the patron of the Music Awards, His Highness the Aga Khan, upon the recommendation of the awards steering committee. It is a daunting task to summarize in just a few sentences the enormous achievement of Mohammed Reza Shajarian. Fortunately, we have some help this evening. Sadly for him and for us, Ostad Shajarian's health prevents him from joining us tonight. But we're very honored that he's represented here by his daughter, Mojgan Shajarian, who will shortly join in a performance of Ostad Shajarian's best known songs. The Ostad is also represented by his son, Homayun Shajarian, who has kindly agreed to address us with a video. The criterion for the Patron's Award reads as follows. For enduring contributions to the musical heritage of humanity, peerless musical mastery, and sustained social impact as a performer and teacher, both within Iran and beyond its borders. از طرف ایشون خدمتون حاضر شدم که این ویدیو رو براتون ضبط کنم و از طرف پدر پیغامی رو خدمتون عرض کنم. میخواستم که از جناب آقا خان و از جناب پرنس امین و کمیته جایزه موسیقی آقا خان تشکر کنم به خاطر این جایزه So to the next award of the evening, the winner of the award in performance. As many of you in the auditorium will know, the laureate in performance was selected by the master jury just last night, following live performances here in the Kalus Gulbenkian Foundation by each of the 14 finalists. And I am delighted to say that the 2019 laureate in performance is Mustafa Saeed. And so, to the second of the three laureates of the Award for Distinguished and Enduring Contributions to Music. And the award goes to Balake Susoko for his sustained commitment to the art of the Kora in ways that are creative and innovative while also firmly rooted in the traditions of Mali's musical heritage. Please join me in welcoming Balake Susoko to the stage. professional honor and a personal pleasure to welcome to the stage Umu Sangare. 
an artist for whom I have long held profound and deep admiration. She has been fearless in her advocacy for the rights of girls and women, and her many achievements, both artistic and humanitarian, have been widely recognized. Throughout her storied career, however, Umu has maintained a special place in her heart for the region of her origin, known as Wasulu, a multicultural borderlands zone that straddles the boundaries of Mali, Ivory Coast, and Guinea. Allow me to read the award citation for Umu Sangare. For lifelong commitment to Wasulu music and to the training and career advancement of young people in the musical profession. And now please join me in welcoming on stage Umu Sangare. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to invite His Highness the Aga Khan, Prince Amin Aga Khan, and His Excellency the President of Portugal, Marcelo Rabelo de Souza. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Your Excellency, President of the Republic, Professor Marcello Rebello de Sousa, Your Excellency Vice President of the Parliament, Mr. George Lacuan, Madame Isabel Mota, President of the Gulbenkian Foundation, Members of Government and Parliament, Diplomats, Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. I've never known why they separate distinguished guests from ladies and gentlemen, but <laughs> that's the way my speech has been written. <laughs> it is a great pleasure and a great honor to welcome all of you who have come to this exceptional venue tonight on this extraordinary occasion. As I welcome you, I do so on behalf of many others all around the world who have made this occasion possible. I speak, of course, of those who are part of the Ismaili Jamaat and the Arkan Development Network, but more generally, all those who have helped to organize the Aga Khan Music Awards. I salute them all, the nominators the members of the Award Steering Committee, the Master Jury, and the Award Secretariat, and, of course, all the participants. I salute all the awardees whose musical talents have so generously enriched today's events. I am also grateful to those here in Lisbon who have helped to plan this inaugural program and to the Gulbenkian Foundation for their invaluable support. This event is one that celebrates artistic talent and the sociological effects of artistic accomplishment in and from diverse places and cultures. And this place, in my estimation, is the perfect location for doing that. 
The Kalust Gulbenkian Foundation is respected across the world for its role in honoring the arts and the sciences, while Lisbon has long been one of the world's most welcoming cities for people of a diverse cultures and backgrounds. And Portugal itself has played a major role over the centuries in bringing to the countries of this continent the cultures of distant lands. The present here tonight of the President of Portugal, the Vice President of Parliament, the Minister of Culture, and so many other members of government, speaks eloquently to the commitment of this country to pluralistic ideals in pursuit of a better tomorrow. We are deeply honored to have you all with us. The musicians we recognize this weekend represent highly diverse forms of the Muslim musical heritage. Now I know that in some parts of the world, the words Muslim and music are not often linked together in the public mind, but they should be. The cultural heritage of Islam has long embraced musical language as an elemental expression of human spirituality. Listening to music, practicing music, sharing music, performing music have long been an intimate part of life for Muslim communities across the world, as has been the chanting of devotional and historical or epic texts. I learned at a young age how my own ancestors, the Fatimids, cultivated music in the city of Cairo a thousand years ago. And I also learned about how the Iberian region, where we are now meeting, the, t the territory known as Al-Andalus, produced new forms of music and poetry in the late medieval period. It was here, in Al-Andalus, that Muslims, Jews, Christians, created together an exemplary culture of tolerance, fostering musical creativity that even included new types of musical instruments and pioneering approaches to, to music education. I also remember a visit I made to Tajikistan in 1995, during which I was deeply impressed by the richness of musical life among those whom I had visited. I began to think even more about the ways in which music can bring a strong cultural anchor, deepening a sense of community, identity, and heritage, while simultaneously reaching out in powerful ways to people of different backgrounds. I recall sharing these thoughts with my brother, Prince Amin Aga Khan, whose guiding and hand helped to lay the groundwork in 2001 for what we call the Afghan Music Initiative. And that program has led directly to the music awards we inaugurate today. The initial focus of the Arkan Music Initiative was in the countries of Central Asia. This mission was urgent for the old Soviet Union, when it controlled these regions, had actively discouraged or even suppressed music linked to traditional ways of life. The Music Initiative worked first to build a heightened awareness of their musical heritage in local communities themselves, to ensure that a new generation of musicians playing traditional instruments was formed, and then to introduce this music and these musicians to international audiences. And it worked on two levels. It helped musicians, first of all, to earn a livelihood so that they could continue to develop their talents. And it also advanced a pluralistic understanding of Muslim cultures and intercultural sharing. 
The initial success of this work in Central Asia led to the expansion of the music initiative beyond Central Asia's borders to include countries in South Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. In so doing, it reached beyond performance to new composition, to creation, and all of this work complemented our other efforts to advance economic and social development, contributing to more stable communities, nurturing a new sense of inspiration and hope, and building vectors of human connectivity across old divides. One other point we learned to appreciate and to share is the remarkable diversity which exists within the world of Muslim music. It comes in many styles, forms, and classical repertoires. It includes simple folk melodies, contemplative mystical music, and driving dance rhythms. And it reflects the immense diversity of different Muslim cultures themselves, including musical traditions that have been carefully cultivated over the centuries within the Ismaili community. In creating the Music Awards, we now hope to expand the reach and impact of the original music initiative. To this end, our award winners will not only receive a monetary prize, but will also be asked to collaborate within the Music Awards Secretariat in broadening the impact of their creative work in dialoguing with each other. The goal is not only to help today's generation of artists, but also to inspire a new generation of young performers and composers in both the East and the West. In all of the performances that are taking place on this occasion, you will hear outstanding musicians expressing themselves in their own authentic artistic languages. Here in Lisbon today, and across the world, in the months and years to come. Their voices, will we trust, continue to transcend old boundaries of time and place, reminding the world that every individual can respond to art and music, whether it emanates from a different culture or not. For after all, art is a matter of humanity, just as much as it is a matter of identity. As the Islamic tradition has reminded us for many centuries, the divine spark that bestows upon us our individuality also bonds individuals in a common human family. In this light, we learn to see our differences in a new way. We can understand that cultural diversity is not a burden or a threat. In fact, it is rather a divine gift, an opportunity to learn and to grow, an opportunity to understand and to appreciate the identity of the other and thereby one's own essential identity. The technological forces that are reshaping our world now mean that neighbors who live on the other side of the planet are as close to us as our neighbors who live across the street. In such a world, peace and progress require that we promote a pluralist agenda, that we invest in a cosmopolitan ethic. These music awards aim to be an investment in that promotion. Thank you. Your Highness, and very dear host of this weekend, unforgettable weekend, Your Highness, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is so dangerous having to improvise after your speech, Your Highness, <laughs> that no President of the Republic is ready to do it. But anyway, I just say a few words, four short words. The first one, to congratulate you very warmly for this prize. It is a way of uh, building bridges, of globalizing 
in a very human way. Putting people together. A little bit what we Portuguese think is our way of being. A platform between cultures, civilizations, oceans and continents. So, in a way, this prize is the start of a long journey together. You and us, thinking of peace in the world, multilateralism, dialogue, a common fight against intolerance, and for people, and music is a good way of doing it. Second, a second word to salute the winners. They deserve. They deserve this word because they are the best. A third one to recall something that is very specially in our thought today, your and our thought, which is Mozambique. The sorrow and solidarity towards the country and the society, most of us know very well and love. And so we are with them in this very difficult moment of their <laughs> life. And, and fourth word, Your Highness, I think I can't resist announcing, if you allow me, that His Highness is, for several weeks, Portuguese citizen. It is an honor and a pleasure for us I'm very proud of having you as Portuguese citizen, together of being as you are, citizen of the world. Thank you. instrument, tradition, represents for me um, mythic time, nature time, life and death time, cyclical time, spiritual time, eastern time, seasonal time. Mythic time reminds us of where we came from and in a sense I think it connects us back to nature. since uh, 14 years uh, and uh, it's not so many uh, times that you blend and meet musicians coming from Far East, you know, people coming from Iran, Azerbaijan, India, Afghanistan, that's mingle with, it's like more or less jazz, classical, Western, West East. <laughs> When they, they, they told me that these musicians are coming, I told that it is, it's fine, I'm coming to listen, yes? I'm, I'm coming to listen more than to, to, to perform. I mean, they are all great musicians. It's, it's just fine to listen to such great gathering of these musicians. people hear traditional music, um, they think of older, maybe outdated 
archaic uh, concepts, but really the beauty of this music, I don't think has any limit in time or history. Uh, it's very helpful and uh, this event to encourage to the all over the world to gather. They're giving very beautiful message to all over the world because this award they bring to the many cultures, many traditional musicians over here, giving the message from the different ways to everywhere that we are together. Uh, we, we need peace everywhere. We need love everywhere. And I would really like to find a way for the voice to be um, used as an instrument for expression without necessarily having to sing in, in lyrics. I think music actually has the capacity to sway people to the extent that they are willing to dream of a world in which there is peace. Mm -hmm.